folks and welcome. Today I'm driving something completely different. It's a British icon and it's probably the most fun I've driven this year. It's of course the original Mini. So this particular Mini that I'm driving is sort of the Rover version of it. It was built in the late 90s. Um, this one's a 2000 reg car so it's got the 1300cc fuel injection engine not the carburetor ones. Um, it makes about 60 horsepower but it's not about pace with this car. It's just so simple and so energetic and fizzing with so much energy. Um, this is a breath of fresh air for sure. Why is it a breath of fresh air then? Well, it's the sensation of driving. This car isn't perfect. Um, this car was built in an era of affordability and it just became something in the 60s where, you know, rock stars and nurses and bankers was driving a Mini because it was just a characterful, fun vehicle and it was also cheap. When it first came out, I think it was about 700 quid. Um, this one isn't though. This car's worth about 10 grand and um, so it should be because it's just an absolute icon. This one's got a little straight through exhaust and um, you can just hear it. Sounds fantastic. It's got four speed manual gearbox. Um, second gear tends to pop out very uh, quickly as well too, uh, for some reason. Um, especially when you tend to go around a left hand bend, um, it just seems to go bonk, straight out. And you can't rush the gearbox that much um, because it crunches. Um, it's just so direct and the sensation of speed is unbelievable. I'm going down this road now at 30 mile an hour and I could have sworn that I'd be driving at 70. And that's something that's just been missing in modern day new cars. You have to go so fast now, driving a modern day hatchback, say for example a Fiesta ST, to get it moving around. With this little car, you don't. You don't with the Mini. It's got 13 inch um, little tyres, um, very wide profile for this form of car, and it's just great. Um, the turning's just unbelievable. The steering's just wriggling with so much life and so much feel and you just grin. It's not perfect. It's, you know, it's got a few flaws. Um, like I said, the driving position is all bloody wrong. It's terrible. My knees should be really driving the steering wheel, but yeah, who cares? I like it. Oh, here comes a speed up. And who doesn't love the way this thing looks? I think it looks fantastic in red with the stripes and with those little floodlights on the front grill it just looks brilliant it's just an adorable little thing the engine doesn't want to rev out it's sort of red line says about 6,000 rpm but i'm being a bit more uh, sympathetic with this it just seems to die out it's a bit like a diesel funny enough it... the revs tend to slow down a bit this one's covered about 48,000 miles and it feels tight, it feels, it's been well cherished, well look up, looked after. You know, it spent most of his time in a garage, which is great. That means um, there's hardly any rust, which tends to be prone on little minis. It's what motoring should be all about. It's not always, you know, going 100 mile an hour sideways around a corner, even I will admit to that. It's just a sensation of pure driving thrills, you know? Four speed manual gearbox, you have to find the gears, and the ride's not too bad either. Okay, on bumpy little B roads, as the camera could tell, it does sort of crap itself a little bit, and it does become a little bit unbearable at times. But you know what? That just makes it all the matter more fun. And that's the beauty of it. It's just a load of fun. I just love how you can pitch this car around the corner. Okay, it hasn't got that much power, but the sense, like I said, the sensation of speed is just there. It's just there in this car. And I tend to play a game where you try and stay flat out everywhere. And that just makes it more exciting. Now I'm doing the legal speed limit of 60 mile an hour and it feels like I'm doing 80. It's just mega. I wanted one of these as a first car. And um, I kind of regret that I didn't get one as a first car because it's so much fun. It's going to be a Fiesta ST replacement. Car manufacturers, go and drive one of these. Try and understand what 
this car is... So let me just give you a quick tour around this Mini because the size of it is just so tiny. I mean, let's just start with the front. About it is so nice. Obviously this is the uh, Cooper version. So you do get the nice wheels, the twin exhausts. Okay, that one's been played with to sound a bit cooler. You do get the little soft top roof as well, which is just really, really cool. But it's just so tiny. Honestly, you park this up pretty much to anything. And it just seems like it's one of those golf buggies. I don't even think a golf buggy is uh, smaller than that in some respects. They've even got bloody bigger. If we get inside, or show you inside first. I mean, that driving position, um, well, the steering wheel's sort of high up. I mean, if you're under six foot, you're cool. Um, you, you'll, you won't have a problem with the driving position. Um, for me, my knees, like I said, is sort of uh, driving the car, um, driving the steering wheel. Um, I mean, look at it. You can actually sit in the back. I did have a go at sitting in the back, and um, yeah, do you know what? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. I love this. Love this little quote. It's just mega, absolutely mega. No electric windows, just the uh, good old wind down windows. Climb aboard. Obviously, this being the later model, you do get the aluminium dash. Is that actual aluminium? I'm not. I'm not too sure. Um, forgive me. Do like red carpets, and do like the fact that you get a, a Mini Cooper sticker down the centre as well too. Fire up the car. Oh, yeah, you need a. Got to use the immobiliser. You must be over 18, not bankrupt. Shut the uh, radio off. And the uh, 1300cc four pot comes to life. 65 horsepower. And that's all you really need. 65 horsepower in this car is plenty enough. Speed isn't really the key with this car. It's all about technique. And um, you can get the most out of it and it just becomes a huge laugh. This is just a really fun British icon and one that will be remembered for many, many generations to come. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like, subscribe as always. Keep it sideways, folks, and take care.